being a parent sure has become pretty complicated in today's world. Here to tell us more about how infants develop communication skills is an expert in the field, pediatrician and child psychiatrist Andreas Wiefeld from the Charité Hospital here in Berlin. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Wiefeld. First, I'd like to start off by asking you, does teaching baby sign language impede or enhance language skills? Well, as my colleagues told before in the, um, in the film, uh, I would say, of course, there is any result of teaching baby science, but the question is whether it's, it's very sensible for communication, uh, for communication, because communication process is more a process than having a specific result. Okay, so then how do you think this idea originated? Well, I think it has to do with um, uh, with the wish of the people to have quicker results and to have more um, facts on the uh, facts uh, on the on the paper. Like they want exactly to know what does the baby mean, and they don't have the patience to wait on what is going on in the process uh, uh, to to negotiate to negotiate. What do we want to do, and what do you want from me, and what do I want from you? Like this is uh, you know this is a. Uh, like a distortion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, er and earlier you told me Americans have a saying about this. So it's yes, like a rule. Uh, the opposite would be like uh, it's a concept to um, get along with infants and small children. It's called watch, wait, and wonder, which is completely different because it's uh, open for results mm -hmm. and it's not we have we have to as quick as possible to come to a result. What do you want? But it's very much open. Okay, so do you think that this is a passing fad, or do you think this sign language with babies will, it has something of sub substance that will take hold? Well, and so far, what I said before, I hope, and I, I do think it's a passing fad, because, uh, um, because um, I think the intuitive um, uh, desires of mankind with their babies is different. It's not closed, it's open. Now, in your experience, have you seen uh, situations in which communication between the parent and the child has been abnormal? Yes, of course. This is uh, sort of my everyday work in the, consulta in the infant consultation which we have on our clinic. And um, uh, by the way, we, we would never try to uh, to give people um, such things like having having more exact um, ideas of the signs of the baby, but the communication uh, which is disturbed can lead to several symptoms which uh, often uh, shows feeding disorder, sleeping disorder or uh, extensive and persistent crying which are big problems in, uh, in the early childhood. So in language development which would you say is the most important factor for babies? <laughs> we, we, we wrote uh, about this in a, in a funny article uh, some time ago and we were with, um, in opposite to the language specialist, we find that the attachment, the quality of attachment which is the basis for communication is uh, found that um, uh, one of a uh, very important factor in language development. Okay, Dr. Vifo, we thank you very much for your assessment. You're very welcome.